so I'm starting a new Hogwarts game. This time, uh, I'm gonna be Slytherin. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the iconic. Not really a villain, villain, but probably know where this is going. I'm gonna be Draco Malfoy. I know I haven't, you know, really done any of the other Hogwarts Legacy videos. I forgot, and then I just kept progressing through the story. I wanted to record, but I couldn't because it would just wouldn't make sense all over. So I finished the game, and I was thinking we should do um, a different uh, person in a different house, Slytherin. Um, so I'm sorry, Barry, but. You're still gonna get played just once I finish these. I'm gonna be Harry Potter, I'm gonna be Hermione, and hmm, who else should I be? Uh, uh, it's fine, let's just get started. Okay, so Draco Malfoy is a boy, obviously. Hmm. Which one more fits Draco? This guy. Or what? <laughs> I thought that was a guy. Definitely not a guy. Okay. Um, I feel like this one or this one. No, this. I th yeah, let's use this guy. All right, uh, face wear. He doesn't wear glasses, so it's fine. What color of eyes does he have? Hair color, he's more blonde. Like I say, I guess that. He has like a nice little like, like it looks kind of weird, but like it's kind of like that, except it's more back like this it's just smooth hair just slid back so hmm, this guy so, uh, this is definitely what it looks like All right, the closest thing I see is probably either this or like, that's Sebastian. Okay, will you, okay, Sebastian. There you go, I said it. Isn't that ominous's hair? Okay, whatever. I think we found it, that's, that, that's what it's gonna be. That hairstyle right there. This. It's the only one I can find that more fits. Tell me if I'm wrong. Please. Okay, scars. The like, uh, this. There's a more Draco Malfoy look. Scar right there. Freckles. He doesn't have a ton of freckles. He has like that much. Um. I guess he's more like the eyebrows. Eyebrow color. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna switch. Uh, Drago Malfoy's eye color. Maybe. Ah, uh, give me a minute.
Okay, so it the eye color is gray. It's like this color. Hmm. Yeah, it's more this. <clears throat> okay. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well... A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Yeah. Normal, not hard. Just name your character. Is his first name Draco? Or is his last name Jacob? I think it, because of Lucius Malfoy, yeah, I think it's Draco. Drake, yeah, just, just Draco. How do you spell Draco? What? Okay, it's Draco. You know what? Let me double check this. YouTube, tell me what. Tell me what you got. Draco Malfoy. Yep. D R A. Yep, it's Co. Draco. Nice. And then last name. Mao. Dang it! How do you? M A. Draco Malfoy. Nice. Nah, he's gonna be a witch. Yeah. He's a witch. Alright. Let's do this. It's Draco Malfoy. Tell me if this looks anything like him. I don't really think it looks anything like him. Because of the... Uh, I could have done the new look for him I could, well yeah because you're a he's a fifth year shoot yeah it's fine i don't care you'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own thank you professor fig i appreciate you working with me all the time again. oh <laughs> eliazar george 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do <laughs> Are you all right? 
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alrighty. So. What happened? We. George, I can't are gonna start you. this game as a Slytherin. Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. <clears throat> Alrighty. We've already been through this. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. It's good to see Professor Fig again. After I completed the game. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys because you know it was kinda sad. But how far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. You'll see We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can Good. follow the path, however faded it may be. Oh my gosh! They're just dead on something. Oh my god, I kill it. Oh there. Alrighty. Mind your step. So, I've been through this before. Um suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here. A good question. I guess let's finish this game. It's not gonna be today because I'm going to my grandma's tomorrow. Woohoo! Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to GG. be lost to time. GG. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I know. Are you coming? So, you are. Okay. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to Boom. understand why it explode. From the wizarding world. Can you like spoke of the good Can you teach me Comfringo, please? Magic is no different than any power. No. Okay. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus okay, not going to be up. Boom. Excellent. Egg. Excellent. That yeah, let's latch onto that. Expected. Yeah, my dad actually started this game, and he's liking it so far. He, well, he's not gonna like. It's like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, I know. Gee, he's not looking forward to the final boss fight. I'll just say. It took me one day to complete it, and like sixty tries. I actually completed it today. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. 
Yeah, my dad started this game and he had to break every base in sight, like freaking doing this all the time, freaking going to pow, to go up out, to pow, pow, to pow. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okie dokie. I don't care. Fig, over here. Ugh. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what keeps it blocking? I didn't even realize this, but on my PS5 controller, it lights up anytime I use this basic cast. It's black now. No, it's not. And it gets redder and redder every time I use it. It's actually pretty crazy. Get over here, Fig. Figwig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Wow! Oh, the trials sucked. Death's trial is easy, but like all the others. Crown guts. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we're <been> here. <laughs> What you doing behind there? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Woohoo! Vault number 12, oh. I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. <laughs> Your wife's poor key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. I want to learn a Varakadavra. Varakadavra! Like I did on um, my other playthrough. It sucks that a Varakadavra doesn't work on freaking the dragon. Shoot. Spoiled it. <clears throat> yeah, Ran Rock. It's dragon. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> You know, I went to Disney World once, and bro, this would be an amazing ride there. How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few. That cost so much time. money for freaking Disney World, though. The they actually made all of this. A private entrance is to the bank common at Gringotts. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both. Could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle it. We've quite a distance to go. Did you guys hear that too? Vault number 12 e 11. Momentous 
Bronco Malfoy. Bronco. I can always get the new haircut later. Uh, all at Hogsmeade. Professor, hmm? the old band that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Red yeah, uh... Oh. Either that's Ranrock or Ranrock's Loyalist. I didn't even know this, uh, I think I skipped this part. Here we are. That's actually crazy. Alright. Hey, Glob- Hey, Globlin. A Zoblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. You're probably gonna hear an echo. Please! If you wanna stop watching that time, or just... The next video, you can comment. Um, uh, you hear an echo, and you, you want me to turn down my TV. Sure. So, so if that's annoying to you guys, it's fine. I don't care. I don't care if it's annoying for you guys. No. Shut up. Professor? was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be Revelio. something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready oh, I'm gonna learn my focus. first spell. Nice. I feel like it's easier on PC because you can freaking just move your mouse. Kinda hurts. Kinda hurts just to do this a ton. Especially on um There. I saw you know. something. Move a bit closer and try again. Chicken nuggets. What? I sorry, I just got okay. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Bet. Blue moss. They say it like this blue moss. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Oh, this is gonna be, like, basically the first trial. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. I farted, bro. Do you hear it? <laughs> Lumos. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue. Oh my gosh! Just let me move! <gasps> Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's position is done. <laughs> Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. 
bit. I know. Lumos. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. True. These were my worst enemies. Now they're just frenemies. Stupefy, Protego, Stupefy, Accio. I got a good armor. I got a good armor. No, this is easy. Ow! I forgot, I gotta pay attention to my head. You thought, buddy, bucko, buckaroo, chicky. Chicky little booty, dooty, shooty, judy. Okay, so every fight scene. Lumos. Every Professor, fight scene. Professor Fig. Professor. I'm going to mute my mic because this it's gonna be really loud and echoey Where's because uh freaking fight scene. The wisps of magic seem to be Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. They're glowing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this on my own, which is fine. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yeah. No, 
nice. Can I leave? I know how to sprint. It's beautiful! It's so beautiful! Oh. It's beautiful! <laughs> I would have imagined anything like it. It's so weird. Is this the map chamber? No. What? What? Huh? I know this isn't the map chamber. What? What in the heck? What in the heck? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Magic. Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. 
now. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Yeah, that's the guy I'm gonna have to beat later on, once I get more spells. It used to be really hard for me. Now that guy's e as easy as a freaking... Professor Fig! Professor Figgy Winks. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Wow, we are pretty far from Hogwarts. I saw it, but like, we're pretty far. And that's the intro. No, that's the ending. Woo. All right, time to be Slytherin. <laughs> oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch.
Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. I want to explore. But obviously Draco Malfoy does not like the classes unless I don't really know. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. I wonder. Mmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? Alright. Hmm, what is... Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. Slytherin? I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Yes. Perhaps you yes. Slytherin. Yes. Except house Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! Woohoo, Slytherin! This is Lady Cadabra! Hi, Sebastian. Hi, Ominous. What are you? Not, 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 Natty. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Okay, okay. Slytherin is common. It's not common for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. You know what, if somebody tries to enter, it should be like a snake clinging up them, like the lock. And, um, later in the game, from a side quest, I think. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Because this does nothing. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. The Griff, not the Gryffindor, the Hufflepuff 
Common room sprays root beer at you. Um, the fat lady's painting, um, just is you, mother say, no, no password, no entry. Looks like everyone's it has gone. more to it, Let's though. Let's head to the common room. Alrighty. Find your common room. Oh my gosh, why is this bigger than... Is it bigger than the freaking Hufflepuff coming room? I suppose some introductions are in order. That is not helpful. Sebastian, yeah. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. The first time I saw that, it was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. All right, now ominous. Hopefully the blind. Nope. You might want to think that again. It's not ominous. Ominous uses a red light, so that's ominous over here. Really uses a red light to see his path. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Okie dokie. Uh, might want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. This is a girl that I'm gonna be in a race. I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Okay, so... I'm gonna end this one right here. So, what I need you guys to do is have a great day, man. Like, why not? I will see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Peace out, my dude.